Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 66, Entity Permission Scopes. The access to create, read, update, or delete records via Power Apps Portals is controlled using entity permissions. Entity permissions are different from the security rules that are used to control record access in the Common Data Service. Unlike in CDS, where the security model is primarily based on the ownership of records, Entity permissions are primarily based on how the user's contact record is related to the other records. The scope field is used to determine which records related to a contact a user on the portal has access to. The global scope option means that a contact has access to all records. Their contact record does not need to be related to the record in any way. This is commonly used for records like products or countries. Contact scope option means that a contact needs to be directly related to the record. When you select this option, you also need to select the relationship that links the contact to the selected record type. The account scope is similar to contact, except it applies to the contact's parent account. When you select this option, you also need to select the relationship between account and the selected record type. The self scope lets you define the permissions a portal user has on their own contact record. This is typically used to give the permissions to the user to update their own personal profile. The parent scope allows you to define the permissions for records that are related to a contact through other records. When choosing this type, you must select a parent entity permission and a relationship. This will be the relationship between the entity defined in the parent entity permission and the entity of the current entity permission. Portal users will be granted permissions to these records as long as they also have access to the parent record. A common use for parent scope is to give portal users the ability to create notes related to a case. In this situation, you create an entity permission with contact scope for the case entity. Then, create a parent scope to entity permission for notes that refers to the case entity permission. This has the effect of giving permissions to create notes on any cases that the contact is related to. Note that there are performance implications of having too many levels of parent scoped permissions. I recommend trying to keep your permissions model to no more than three levels deep. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the PowerOps Portals tip number 66 on entity permission scopes useful.